Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am back with the Porter Rich Challenge Day 3. It's a new week which means another episode of the Porter Rich Challenge in Adopt Me. We are now on day 3 of the challenge and so far I feel like it's going quite well. In day 2 we actually spent a bunch of time building our inventory. We managed to get a bunch of new pets including our first ultra rare pet too. We also did lots of pet aging up, we managed to get some more bucks and as well we managed to age up Bobby here into a full grown pet. If you haven't watched them yet and would like to, I will go ahead and leave day 1 and day 2 at the top of the screen in a playlist on a card. So then if you haven't watched them ones yet, you can kind of get up to date with where we're at. But if you are coming back for day 3, I hope you guys are ready for today's episode. So my plan for today is is to actually work on making our neon pet. I cannot guarantee we're going to get it completely finished in today's part. However, we're going to do a majority of the work to get a neon pet and maybe potentially finish it. But of course, we do need to age up a lot of pets for that. So we're going to be working on that in today's video and of course doing a lot of trading as well. But before we do get started with today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you would like to see more days of this challenge and also as well if you don't want to miss any future videos of me doing the Porter Rich challenge make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have turned on all notifications that way you won't miss any of the episodes and you also won't miss any of my upcoming videos and the future videos either. But other than that, let's get started with day three and let's make our goal today to make a neon pet. So first things first and the first thing I want to do is I actually want to take care of Bobby here because Bobby has lots of needs currently that need attending to. Also as well, I felt like this was the perfect time to start making the neon because we currently actually have two times aging and bucks because of the celestial summer update. So I am going to take this to my full advantage and use the two times aging. We also did just get some XP as well, so we'll claim that. And we should be able to get this. Yes, we can. We nearly got the age up potions as well, which I want to get to because I want to use them in today's part. Two. Whilst we're back at my house, I'm going to quickly brew some hyperspeed potions as well. Whilst we're waiting for our potions to brew, I actually want to feed Bobby these tiny age up potions. That way we can use these to get a big age up potion and then use the big age up potion on the other rhino beetles or one of them anyway. So let's give these to Bobby. Oh no, we can't. Wait, can we give it to Bobby? No, we can't. No. <laughs> okay, we use them on the other rhino beetles. You can't use them on the full grown ones. That's fine. I'll probably just keep Bobby out whilst I'm trading that way Bobby can keep getting needs whilst we are kind of walking around and doing some trading as well. One thing I actually want to do is I want to add on to my profile in a wish list the rhino beetles just so then people know that we are looking for them. So let's quickly add that to my profile and we will add a wish list section and I'm going to type looking for rhino beetle. I can only put beetle so I'm just going to put that and then we will go ahead and add that in. Like so we will add this there we go and I will add three just so then that people know we're looking for free and I also want to add a trading section I'll just put trading away and we will add in there the pets that I kind of want to trade and I think I'm probably going to trade the weevil and also the rabbit potentially I'm kind of looking to trade them all away because I feel like they all have a potential of trading away so 
I'm just going to put them all in here and then we can decide if we want to accept offers for them or not but I think we should put them up just so then people can see that they are in our inventory and then if they like the look of one of the pets they can offer for it but there we go we have a little section there so we will begin with the trading in just a moment but the first thing I want to try and do before we actually begin with the trading for the rhino beetles I actually want to head back over to the obby area because in day one I tried to come into the obby area to get age up potions but they were not working for me so I'm going to come back in and I'm going to give it another go and I did actually get quite a few comments from a few of you guys saying that you can still get the potions and they do still work and most of you were saying that you have to fill up the sunflower and as you can see it does take 5,000 to get the sunflower fully up and get age up potions from it so I don't know how long that's going to take and if it's going to take a long time then I probably won't do it but just to see how many sun drops we can get to add to the sunflower I'm going to go ahead and complete the obby and see how many we can get and if we actually get quite a few I definitely will try and get this sunflower up and get the age up potion because it will help us out probably quite a lot so let's give it a go let's see how many sun drops we can get from from the obby and thank you so much to everyone who left comments as well about the obby and the age up potions so let's give this a go I'll speed through it because this will probably take me quite a while and let's see how many droplets we do get and see how many xp or how many points it does give us to add to the sunflower and if it's quite a lot we can definitely continue doing this and get the age up potions this way however if it's going to take a long time I probably won't oops I fell but as I was saying I probably won't continue doing it just because it will probably take up quite a lot of our time and it might not be worth it but we'll soon see so let's get all these sun drops and see how much it adds up to okay we have completed the obby and I actually got a lot more than I thought I was going to I think I got around a thousand five hundred which is quite a lot so I think before the end of the episode we will actually come back and fill this up again I think we could probably get an age up potion by the end of the video so we'll come and do this again later on but for now let's head out and let's begin doing some trading. Bobby actually does need the playground so we will stay here for a second because we're getting super close to actually getting to friendship level one with Bobby and then after this I want to trade potions but I also want to trade for the rhino beetles so I think first we are going to trade the potions to see what we can get and then we will go ahead and trade for the rhino beetles because we could actually get some pets that will help us out a bunch with trying to get the rhino beetles so I will trade the potions first. Is Bobby gonna age up here? Yes Bobby did. Okay so now we have a potion which we can actually use on a pet in the future. There we go our first age up potion that's gonna help us out a lot. We also have these ones here as well which is gonna help us out too. Let's quickly head back home and go and get the rest of the age up potions. I have two more left to brew and then I'm gonna trade them. I don't want the majority of this video to be trading the potions so I am going to trade them all and I will just show you guys the trades that I do get for the potions as we go instead of showing you the whole process like I usually do just because it is going to probably take some time and I don't want this video to be entirely trading potions. One thing I am actually going to do is I'm quickly going to spend some of our money. I'm going to delete these boxes and just get a basic crib for our pets. So then when we come back home, we can actually put them to sleep. Our potions are all done so I'm going to head out and trade them. I am going to probably head to the campsite because it is currently camping. So we'll head there and see if we can get any trades. 
a divert from the trading but this person actually has put up a rhino beetle and i am gonna offer a weevil for it i didn't really plan on doing the trading at the moment but i'm gonna accept this if they do accept they did okay so far so good because that means now we have two out of four so let's accept that trade there we go a bit of a divert from the potions and i still haven't managed to trade any but at least we have another rhino beetle now Trade number one is a hot dog and honestly I don't really know why I'm doing this trade. I think it's more because I can't get one so I'm just going to do this one for the first trade and maybe we can add the hot dog in somewhere. A bit random but oh well. <laughs> okay second trade this one isn't pets but we do have a bunch of toys here and a stroller i'm gonna confirm this it's not pets as i said but this could help us out quite a lot we now have some new toys and we also have as well a petware item this could be helpful to trade and we did also get a stroller too final potion trade and i also put the stroller up as well and this person has put up a blue jay which is actually a full grown which is really good and a fan propeller a hair brush chew toy and a ultra rare fossil i'm gonna accept this and they accepted this one's probably the best trade we've got so far because we do have an ultra rare fossil which we could trade away and a full grown pet this is crazy oh okay they declined that was quite sad because i was very excited about that I'm in a trade and I'm guessing and hoping this is going to be the final one for the potions. This person has put up a camel and a brown cozy hood. I'm going to accept this. A pet is definitely a win. I'm going to trade the stroller away because I feel like that will just help with the trade. And we don't really need the stroller. So I'm going to accept and there we go. The final potion trade. So that is all of the potions traded from my inventory. I managed to get a lot of toys in this one and I also managed to get two pieces of petware and we also got one new pet as well. Let's make our way over to the pizza party real fast just to do this task for Bobby. And then I think it is time we begin trying to trade for the rhino beetles. We do actually need to go camping so we might be able to find some people over there. And Bobby is about to level up another friendship level which means we'll be able to get another age up potion to use. That is going to help us out a lot. Oh and I have a trade come in from someone back at the pizza party. I'm going to send them this message and ask if they have any rhino beetles up for trade at the moment and if they do we will definitely try and offer for them this person currently has put a monkey up i mean we definitely could offer for the monkey maybe we could put up the camel and some toys honestly i'm really not quite sure what else to offer <laughs> i could offer one of the more rarer pets for the monkey but i don't really know if i want to do that we could try and accept this if they accept that will be a win for us for sure and a bobby aged up another friendship level as well so now we have another potion <gasps> this person is doing this trade seriously oh my gosh this is a big win for us the monkeys have been out the game for years let's confirm are they gonna accept this is probably one of the best trades i've got if they're gonna accept this before literally a camel and a few toys oh my gosh the suspense is killing me oh no they declined i really thought we were gonna get that trade that would have been so good if we were able to get that also our money is now over a thousand which is great too we're definitely starting to get our butt up but this episode has been quite successful so far i was offering for this person's rhino beetle and they have just said that i can have it for free that is super sweet of this person to do this i really appreciate that we actually had this happen in the last episode as well where someone actually gave us a pet for free or i think it was in day one i can't remember that was so kind of that person to do that i'm gonna say thank you so much in chat again and honestly that is gonna help us out so much so if you are watching this video thank you so so much for that that is going to help me out with this challenge a lot and that was really sweet of you so uh, thank you that now means that we only need to get one more rhino beetle and then we have all of them and then we can begin aging them up into a neon I think I am gonna go ahead and quickly switch servers because I'm not getting that lucky with any more trades on here so let's quickly switch and then we will see what we can get on another server 
I'm starting to notice that a lot of people don't really have the rhino beetles even though they're relatively new they're not that old they did come out in the desert egg so it wasn't that long ago it was around six months ago I think so it wasn't that long ago so I'm quite surprised more people don't have this pet but on a bit more of a positive note Bobby once again has nearly leveled up in their friendship level oh let's Let's actually try this player here let's try and trade them they're also coming into the hospital right now let's ask them do they have any rhino beetles for trade oh they declined on me this person's just put rhino beetle wait are they replying to me wait i think this person has some rhino beetles <laughs> they're not even replying to me they're replying to someone else i think i'm not quite sure if they're replying to me or not i'll wait until they are out of this trade and then i'll trade them i was talking to another person they must be talking to me i'm gonna just say are you talking to me in chat i'm gonna say hi oh my gosh this is perfect let's go ahead and put up the camel we will offer for this camel is bad okay um let's do the armadillo then and maybe we should add the ant as well that could be fair add bunny oh no guys do i add the bunny oh i put it for trading away i'm gonna add the bunny i could do the bunny instead of the armadillo but then they might want the armadillo but i think i think i'm gonna sacrifice the bunny no thank you sorry uh oh <laughs> I'm in my next trade. Let's see if this person has any rhino beetles. Oh, they said, um, let me check. Okay. I'm going to say, okay, thank you. We're off to a good start. Please have a rhino beetle. Please have a rhino beetle for trade. I am crossing my fingers. They stopped and they're typing, which means I'm going to say no. I can't believe how many people don't have rhino beetles. This is crazy. They definitely did come out with the desert egg, right? no they didn't this whole time i've been saying the rhino beetle came with a desert egg and it didn't it actually came with the japan egg which is really old <laughs> so i'm actually working towards a uh, rarer neon than i thought i was because it came out in the japan egg i'm assuming that's why not a lot of people have them there was me here the whole time being like i'm so surprised people don't have these because they came in the desert egg and they didn't they came in the japan egg and that was a long time ago now. That was quite a while. So that's why not a lot of people have them. Let's see if this player has any rhino beetles. I'm starting to think now I should have taken the one for the person who wanted the rabbit. Because I feel like we are not going to be able to find one. And now I'm starting to panic. <laughs> this person asked if I had an offer for the bullfrog though. I might actually maybe offer the camel. <laughs> Let's see if they will take that. The bullfrog is out of the game. Or accept. They accepted. Okay. <laughs> so the camel for the bullfrog. There we go. That's not a bad trade because the bullfrog obviously is no longer in game anymore. I'm going to trade rebecca here let's ask them if they have any rhino beetles no they don't oh i have a trade coming in from the campsite let's say hi this person said let me check i'm gonna say thank you that's always a good sign when someone says let me check <laughs> i'm really crossing my fingers i have been trading for ages I'm going to do one more server switch and if I do not get the final rhino beetle, I am just going to call it a quits there for a day and we will come back in day four to get the last one because this is taking me forever. <laughs> okay, a final server for the hunt for the last rhino beetle and if we don't get one today we will try again in next episode but we will work on the ones that we do already have we have a trader coming in okay that could be a good thing oh my gosh okay finally finally somebody has got one and they traded us probably from adding it to our profile i'm just gonna add all three of these common pets and i think as well i'm also just gonna add some of these toys that i have in my inventory because i just want to make sure that we can get this oh my gosh this has taken me hours everybody i was trading just did not have a rhino beetle and finally we are about to get the trade there we go accepted i'm gonna say thank you so much in chat again and i don't actually think i overpaid with that trade i might have potentially but i don't think i did because that pet is actually a lot older than i thought it was 
So we are going to go ahead and quickly look after Bobby and hopefully we should be able to get another age up potion from doing this as well. So let's quickly sort out Bobby's needs and then I'm hoping we'll get another age up potion so then we can use that on our other rhino beetles as well. We currently have three age up potions but then we also have six tiny ones as well so they're going to be really helpful to use. I can't believe I have finally gotten the rhino beetles. That took me forever. Honestly, the longest time. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is so far. It could be super long, so I am probably not going to record for too much longer. We will probably use the age up potions on our beetles and see where that puts us. I have a feeling we won't be able to age them all up to fully grown in today's part but we can finish off the neon in the next part. However Bobby doesn't need any more tasks right now so I think we are going to begin by using all of the age up potions. So let's get out the first rhino beetle and there is two times aging right now. I don't know if that does impact when you use age up potions if it goes up any faster I'm not entirely sure if so that is going to help us out a bunch so first off let's begin by using the tiny age up potions these ones don't really do a lot they only grant three tasks but they are still going to help us out so we will still use them I have a feeling we will have to do some aging up in the next part but that's fine we can work on that then as long as we can kind of get maybe two of them to full grown before the end of this episode I think I'll be pretty happy with that but I'm just going to keep feeding this rhino beetle here all of the small age up potions that we do have but we have run out of potions so now we will use the big age up potions there we go let's feed it one and this should take us to hopefully near the end of teen fingers crossed oh yes it did we're nearly on post teen i will use another potion on this rhino beetle i'm not quite sure where this is going to take us if it does go to full grown if i do get any of the other ones to teens i probably i was going to say i probably won't use them however we haven't got to full grown yet we will finish aging up this one in today's video because it's so close but for now let's Let's pull out another newborn and give it the final potion we have and I think that I will actually be able to get one more potion in this video as well and we're already on teen so we are on teen with this rhino beetle we're on post teen with this one I am going to pull this one out and luckily it has just turned night time so we should get some needs to be able to look after it but I want to get one more potion before we do wrap up today's video so I'm going to come into to the obby area and complete the obby again we may have to complete it a couple of times but we are super close to getting to 5000 so let's go ahead and quickly do the obby a couple of times i will probably do this bit off camera because it does take quite a while and i'll be back when we have enough to get one more age up potion Okay, I've done the obby once. Let's see whereabouts we are. We may potentially have enough, do we? We do. The sunflower is glowing. We can claim the reward and there we go. We've got a potion. So now it says one hour until we can use it again. So if it does actually reset to 5,000, I'll definitely keep doing that because it literally only took two rounds of the obby. Thank you so much to the people who did tell me about that in the comments because if it wasn't for you guys I probably wouldn't have gone back and done it again so yeah thank you so much for that that has helped me out a bunch we will use the potion on our teen rhino beetle and fingers crossed it should get it to full grown and then I think in the next part we will finish up with the fourth rhino beetle which is still a newborn but we can try and get some more age up potions and we can age that one up I feel like we're probably only gonna need around two age up potions so we won't need too many i think the rhino beetle is about to age up let's use the hot dog oh it did there we go i'm gonna use the hot dog for it as well oh it's asleep no please eat the hot
hot dog there we go <laughs> just so then we get a few extra bucks and i've got so many bucks in today's part which is great but there we go the second rhino beetle is done let's grab the teen one back out and feed that the age up potion we did just get and this should get it to full grown hopefully fingers crossed if not we can quickly do a few tasks and we can age it up oh no it still needs quite a lot okay we actually still need quite a few tasks <laughs> So I think we will have to complete this in the next part because I have been recording for such a long time. I think in total today I have been recording this part for about three hours which is a very long time for me. <laughs> so I have been recording for a long time today so I'm probably going to wrap it up in just a second but we can finish off these final tasks and just help it along a little bit. But I'm happy with the overall outcome of today's video. I I don't think we did too bad just because the rhino beetle was actually a lot harder to get than I thought it was going to be. I thought that it was going to be super easy because I mistakenly thought that this pet came with the desert egg and it doesn't. It does not come with the desert egg. It came with the Japan egg. So it did take a super duper long time. However, that is where I am going to be wrapping up today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. I do feel like this was quite a successful day all in all. We managed to get all the pets for the neon and they're getting close to all being aged up. So that's the most important thing. And in the next part, we can finally make the neon. We will finish aging up this rhino beetle and we will also fully age up this one. And then we can make them into a a neon pet remember to leave your tips and your suggestions in the comment section of this video as well i always love hearing your tips and your tricks for helping me out with this challenge but other than that thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope that you did enjoy it i hope that you have a great rest of your day and i will see you again very soon bye